welcome um, to the site of the new Mullaney uh, QFES uh, facility. So for some time, uh, the three services in Mullaney have shared uh, uh, some common issues about uh, being able to come together and uh, being, you know, uh, the fire or the rural fire service at the showgrounds, and you know, which is a system that's worked well for a while. But in this modern time, we need our fire brigades uh, to be able to be in a facility 24/7, um, where they don't have to leave uh, for any reason. So, uh, a couple of years ago, this became quite a, an issue, and I know in the run-up to the 2017 election, this was a, a significant issue here in Mullaney, uh, and government at the time. Uh, made a commitment that we would construct a new uh, QFES facility here at Mullaney. So we'll be on this site. Today we can announce uh, that we've got one step closer in that we have awarded a contract for the design uh, for a local uh, company uh, to bring forward a design that we can then go to tender and start to construct. Uh, our intention is uh, to go to tender for construction in the second half of this year and see if we can get a shovel turned before the end of the year uh, so we can have our fantastic local crews move into this building uh, or selection of buildings uh, sometime in probably late 2021. Uh, so again, another commitment from the Palaszczuk government being delivered uh, is certainly, you know, uh, and we want to highlight you know, the great work that our volunteers and our auxiliaries do up here at Mullaney. So from the three services of the SES, the Rural Fire Service and the Fire and Rescue crews as well. Uh, I might ask... The uh, this is a significant project for the community of Mullaney and will provide a state-of-the-art facility for the Fire and Rescue Service, the Rural Fire Service and the State Emergency Service here in Mullaney. It's a significant project, uh, around $5 million worth. As the Minister said, the project uh, is in the de design phase and uh, will move into construction later in the year uh, and it will be likely to open in the second half of 2021. It's been a, a while coming but it will be a terrific facility and this will set our services up to be able to deliver services to the community of Mullaney for many years to come. Uh, this is a really uh, great step forward and an advancement for the community of Mullaney uh, and in particular uh, the Queensland Fire and Emergency Services and our Rural Fire Service Volunteers, SES Volunteers and Fire and Rescue Service Auxiliary Firefighters. We have approximately 80 personnel, volunteer and uh, part-time auxiliary firefighters that will share this facility um, and they'll live together harmoniously and serve and protect the community of Mullaney for many, many years to come. This uh, facility is not only built for 2020, but it's built to future-proof uh, our footprint here in this community uh, for a very long time to come. Thank you. Questions? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess why is the centre, um, why, was, why is the facility needed so much for this? Uh, so predominantly it's about getting the three services that we have in QFES uh, on the same on the same site and so it's not about amalgamating them or anything like that we've done it in other parts around the state and it works very very successfully where you can bring the three arms of the agency together uh, on the same footprint still with their individual um, needs obviously uh, you know being considered but it will allow them to um, cross-pollinate a little bit, they can train together. Some of them will be members of more than just one part of the service. Uh, you know, good community-minded people are often volunteers in more than one agency. Um, this allows them to come together in a, you know, in a, in a, in a modern facility um, that'll allow them to, to train and even, you know, some of the social activities that go around it as well. Currently, you know, they're in three separate footprints across town. Um, some of those ageing, some of them you know, not working that well and that we have to get out of the showgrounds for a certain period of time each year. And in 2020, you know, that is now just not really in, in keeping with what we want to do. So um, this will uh, allow them to have plenty of space. As you can see, it's quite a large site. Uh, it's a good location here in Mullane. It's high profile, good visibility from the community. That will help them with, you know, uh, with recruiting new members. It will help them with things like fundraising and it will certainly help them with things like educating the community around things like fire safety and other certain programs that we do. What sort of features uh, go into uh, a modern facility like this? So we want to try and, and obviously do things where we can keep 
individual organisation. You know, they, they, they need a bit of their own space. So you know, there'll be certainly separate offices and those sorts of things for each part of the agency. We like to do that. Um, often you'll see things like a shared, uh, a shared engine bay. Uh, that can often be the case. Sometimes it works, sometimes we don't do that. It's, it's obviously up to the designers how they want to do it. Energy efficiency is certainly something that goes into design uh, a lot now. So being able to uh, help cut down the running costs of a building, not just for the locals, but also for the department and for government. So, you know, we'd be keen to see uh, some, you know, ideas go into that. So today's announcement is about awarding the contract for design, and I would hope that the design crew take all those things into consideration. It's a great site. They can do a lot with it. Uh, and we're really obviously excited to see what they come out with towards the end of this year. What sort of opportunities is there for uh, the existing uh, volunteers in the town to have some input into that process to um, bring to it, if you like, any local peculiarities or, or whatever into the design of this facility? So what we always do as part of any design for any building, whether it's having permanent staff or casual staff or volunteers, one of the factors is always consulting the end user. And we'll do that here at Mullaney. Um, it's, you're, you're, on a, you're on a hiding to nothing if you design a building and make someone else use it. If you haven't consulted with them in the first place, things won't work. Uh, so I think you know every government, and every agency has learnt that lesson at one time or another. So we will make sure that our that our uh, auxiliary firefighters and our volunteer firefighters and our volunteer SES personnel here uh, have adequate input uh, to make sure that it works for them. You know, we'll obviously take into consideration all their ideas. I'm sure they've got plenty. They've all been watching this site now for a number of months. Um, I imagine they've already drawn up their own plans. So, you know, bring it on. Well, look, you know, this was uh, this was certainly a commitment from uh, from Brent Hampstead when he ran for uh, the Glass House seat uh, at the 2017 election, and he's here today. It's great to see him here to to see this get another milestone. Uh, procurement of land was certainly that was a big hold up here. You know, Mullaney is not an easy place to find a sizable piece of land uh, that's that doesn't have a significant amount of hill on it. You know, where. We're pretty fussy in the kind of land that we want. We do like high profile land. We want the community to know where we are. Um, we want to be able to have blocks of land that are sizable enough that we can operate heavy machinery and trucks and multiple trucks uh, in, a, in a safe manner. So we needed to make sure we got the right land. So there was no hold up in any other means. It was simply about getting the right land. Once we got the land, um, there was a few months delay around a power pole that had to have some work done. You know, these are installed parts of obviously building and construction nowadays, but uh, here we are announcing the design and the money is sitting there, $5 million in total for, uh, for this project. So it's locked and loaded uh, and it'll be delivered next year. Look, today's announcement says uh, to me that you need a local representative who can work with the government of the day. And the problem with our current crop of MPs here in the Sunshine Coast is that they find it impossible to work with the Labor State Government for one reason or another. You'd have to ask them why that is. But when the rural refineries were explaining their situation and how they were stuck in the cattle shed down at the um, uh, showgrounds and they had to move out each year, and the local member here pre pretty much said, it's council's problem. You know, Council need to find them a piece of land so they can build a new shed. And um, But to me, being a local person, that's just not good enough. Um, so, you know, we got a petition together, we knocked on hundreds of doors around town and the feedback was that people wanted to see, particularly their rural fireys at that point, but then we've incorporated um, our, volunt uh, so our auxiliary fireys and, and the SES, but they wanted to see them in a permanent home. Uh, so, you know, this announcement today demonstrates that if you've got someone who's willing to work with government, you can get things done.